Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the Euro US dollar FX for Monday, May the 28th, 2012. Well, a change of trend today, and here we have a candle that's made a higher high and a higher low. The candle that we're analysing is the second last candle on the chart here. The final candle that we're looking at is the candle that's currently developing, so we can't analyse that until the trading period is over. But uh, change of trend, so uh, interesting change of sentiment in the market. Having said that, however, the market did attempt to rally on a black body candle, and that does raise some doubt about continuation of the trend to the upside. We have only a uh, fairly small black body. And uh, the black body, however, denotes the sellers making net bearish progress. So on a, on a trading day where the trend changed hands, it changed from being a downtrend to an uptrend, we had the sellers making net bearish progress. We'd prefer to see uh, the buyers making net bullish progress uh, for this trend to continue. So very much doubt as to whether the trend will continue. The sellers have closed the market down towards the low on this candle and that uh, tells us that the sellers have closed with control of this market and we see the shadow on the top of this candle and that denotes the buyers losing commitment as they tested above the 125.86 level of resistance previous three days in a row now the 125.86 level has held as resistance we've seen price rejection from there so moving forward tomorrow that's a very very important level for this market looking at the current candle how it's uh, trading at the moment we are uh, suggesting a possible change of trend here the candle already has a lower high and a lower low if it continues like that there is a possibility we'll test down to the minor swing low around 125 and then possibly down to the uh, support level at 124.55 no support down below 124.55 until we trade to 121.55 so a very important level for this market at 124.55 there is a possibility we could be testing down there within a few days. In terms of the previous Fibonacci extension, uh, we saw the market hold up at the 78.6% level, only a minor level, but we did see that area hold as support. And this highlights how important sometimes the Fibonacci ratios can be, and in particular this uh, extension. And what we're looking at is the relationship of the current downtrend that the market was in previously and that previous downtrend and we're looking at the relationship of the current downtrend to move in a Fibonacci relationship to the previous and we see here as I mentioned on the previous day that the market found support at 78.6 and today we've had confirmation of that and the markets rallied. Now moving to the next uh, Fibonacci extension relationship and we're analysing the current uptrend that the market began today in relation to the previous uptrend. So we're looking at the relationship between this upswing and the current upswing. And we see here today that the market has tested to the 61.8% level at uh, 126.07 and to the 50% level and has been rejected from there. So an important event there with the market being rejected from those levels and it's little wonder that we're seeing the change of trend today. So this once again highlights how important these ratios can be. And with our support and resistance lines drawn on here we can see that the 50% uh, level on the Fibonacci extension coincides exactly with this uh, level of uh, uh, resistance for this market that I've highlighted here. But moving to the Fibonacci uh, retracement uh, uh, here which became a Fibonacci expansion and we were looking at the retracement in relation to the previous upswing so this retracement of the trend to the downside and we noted that the market uh, capitulated around the 161.8 percent level two trading periods ago we saw the market close right at that level and we tested just down below there in an indecisive manner uh, the trend obviously was still down uh, but we had the sellers closing with control but a very small black body candle and that was at the end of this uh, strong downtrend and that did suggest potential for the uh, change of trend to the upside so the loss of momentum with the sellers coincided with the 161.8% expansion level and today we've seen that change of trend and now to the uh, current uh, Fibonacci retracement and we're looking at the relationship of the new upswing 
the new first time frame uptrend in relation to the previous first time frame downtrend and we see that the market uh, found resistance exactly at the 38.2% level which is at 126.21 solid downside price rejection expect this change of trend that we're seeing at the moment in the market to test to lower levels in terms of Ichimoku, well, this market remains bearish in all three time frames. We uh, have the market uh, trading below the clouds, so we have a bearish market in big picture terms, bearish in the medium term time frame by trading below the Kijun Sen, the pink line, and bearish in the short term time frame by trading below the Tenkan Sen, the green line. Check our span here is below the corresponding price action, so it's confirming the bearishness that we're seeing in this market. So um, overall, we've seen uh, a market that's bearish in all time frames. We saw a change of trend, so some a change in the short-term dynamics, but the buyers failed to take control of the market. They, uh, in a substantial way, lost commitment as they tested above the 125.86 level, which coincided with some Fibonacci levels. And now we're seeing the sellers once again maintain control of this market. So it's likely that the market will test to the low around 125 and then potentially test to the 124.55 level. If we see a bearish breakout down below there, we could see the market trading down to 121.55 over the next few weeks.